it's that way. So I think I found the best tool to actually get rid of this barb. I'm going sturgeon fishing tomorrow, so I uh, I need to pinch down the barb. And a lot of people use pliers and stuff like that. Um, I've actually not this size hook. This is an eight out hook, but I've broken some hooks um, by crimping off the the barb. Um, in my trade i used a lot of electrical tools and i think i found the best ones these are crimps uh, there might be a, diff a different name for it but the reason why i like these ones is because of that tooth right there you can actually put the barb up against that push it down and set the hook right in that groove there and then pinch down and i'll show you so if you can see that barb there like I said, you put the hook, sit it inside that groove, get that tooth pinched down on the barb. And sometimes it'll actually snap just like that. And then crimp it down just a little bit more. And it is gone. No more barb. And you can run your finger all through there. And it works pretty good. Um, lots of people like to actually break that barb off. But the thing is, is that I've talked to uh, some wardens and what they do, it sounds really stupid, but they'll actually take their the hook, they'll stick it through their shirt, pull it back. If it grabs just a little bit, even with that bar pinched, they get upset. Um, so I think this is actually the best one. But actually, you know what? Let me grab a top. Hold on one second. Just to kind of prove that theory. And I've already done this to a majority of my hooks. So you can see here circle hook octopus circle hook goes right in right comes right out doesn't even snag well actually take that back this one actually broke so i'm going to show you how when i pull it back it actually snagged a little bit um kind of hard to see in the camera but party going on over there but you can kind of see how it's Oh, right there. That part, how it snagged. See that? So let me actually grab one that I just did. Ah, right there. Stick it through, no problem. So again, for sturgeon fishing, or if you guys go salmon fishing, um, I know salmon season's already open over. Um, but yeah, you can see, it's not even picking on that towel. Um, but yeah, if you guys uh, like that idea, this is a Klein's. No, I'm pretty sure they uh, they sell cheaper ones, but again, it's just that uh, the crimp there, and you're gonna want to use a non-insulated uh, as opposed to the INS, which is, stands for insulated. But these work really good, so yeah, just wanted to share that. Good night, guys. Well, for me, it's good night because it's already late. Getting the kayak set up, both of them, the wife and myself, are gonna be going out. We're gonna be hitting up one of the sloughs uh, close to us. And we're gonna, she's gonna be going for striper. I'm going to be going for sturgeon, so I'm kind of excited. First time. Wish me luck. See you guys later.